Commissioner Goodell, we all realize that football is an imperfect game played, coached, and officiated by imperfect people. What occurred last Sunday in New Orleans, though, was outside of that expected and accepted norm. Your continued silence on the matter is unbecoming of the position you hold, detrimental to the integrity of the game, and disrespectful and dismissive to football fans everywhere. From the locker room to Park Avenue, accountability is what makes our league great. Lead by example, we are waiting. Shefty, mm -hmm. what reaction have you heard around the league to what Benjamin Watson had to say? Greeny, you touched on a very important point. Ben Watson is one of the most respected players and voices in the game amongst the players today. And when Ben Watson comes out and says this, it gets the attention of everybody around the league. Now, look, privately, the Saints have gotten after the league office. They lit into them on Monday, very unhappy with the decision. They let it known to be the league, to the league that they're not pleased with the way that this unfolded on Sunday. And, of course, we have not heard anything from the league all week long, which has been a surprise. You would have thought that they would have addressed it early Monday. They did not, other than the fact that they called the Saints right after the game to let them know that they blew the call. But there's been no public acknowledgement that the league, that the officials made a mistake here. So it continues to go on and on. And while it does, guys like Ben Watson are coming out and shining a light on the subject that continues to not go away while the NFL sits back in surprising silence. Shafty, well done. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you it's next week, and obviously lots of our coverage next week from Atlanta with Adam Schefter involved. Let me bring these guys in again to the conversation, Bobby and Dee Wood. I I'll start with you. Do you believe that Roger Goodell in the National Football League office should make, needs to make some sort of statement about the way that game ended? Well, if you looked at each and every week, the players have media availability. They have to go out and answer for the actions that they had, whether it's off the field, most of the time on the field, sometimes it's after practice, a lot of times it's after the games. And those guys have to be accountable for what they've done and what has happened. Roger Goodell, highest paid employee in the NFL. It's not Tom Brady, it's not Aaron Rodgers, it is Roger Goodell. And he is the face when it comes to answering these questions. So I think it's very, very hypocritical the fact that a huge thing like this happens and now he hides in Park Avenue and does not come out and at least address it because if you address it on Monday or Tuesday, I think it's done by this afternoon. Look, D. Wood, the one thing I would say is that there is a competition committee and they are going to be looking at this all offseason long. They're trying to look at competitive fairness and guess who's on the committee? Sean Payton. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's going to be looking at this certainly very closely. My one question is, if Goodell starts talking about this, and I understand it's in its own category because it was particularly egregious and that situation was going to talk about a team going to the Super Bowl or not, but does he open up a can of worms if he starts going out and talking about it? He, he has not made a practice of talking about poor calls or officiating prior to this. No, I don't think he's opened up a can of worms, but I think he needs to – He it's this was a call of epic magnitude. Everyone, the whole national audience saw it happen, saw it unfold. Everyone knows that it was it was a horrific call, you know, no call by the officials. So you're the face of the National Football League in Roger Goodell. And Bobby, you pointed out to Roger Goodell makes too much damn money for him to just sit back at Park Avenue and not say one word, be on radio silence and not at least address this. And the problem I have is this. You, you can't hide from this because it's going to come up during Super Bowl week. OK, the fact that you're going to sit here and not address it at all, reporters are going to ask you at some point next week, and it takes away from the, from the Patriots and Rams, which is supposed to be their time to shine. Can, can I play devil's advocate here for a minute? Because I sort of have mixed feelings. I certainly understand the reaction from New Orleans. And look, I, I'm, I'm willing to grant almost anything anyone in New Orleans wants to say in anger now, because was, it was so egregious and I'm sure so incredibly painful, particularly for the players. But at the end of the day, what exactly is he supposed to say? We all saw what happened. It was a terrible call. So if Roger Goodell comes out and says, we missed the call, we will look at the rules during the offseason. That's the competition committee's area. They'll decide if they want to make a change in that or not, or at least make recommendations. Bad calls happen. It's extremely unfortunate that it happened when it did. I, I don't know exactly what it is someone wants him to say, how much money he makes notwithstanding. What is it he's going to say that is going to make the situation any different? Hey, everyone here at this table's had a bad day. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to go home and have the bad day acknowledged publicly. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. Hey, they missed the call. We're going to look at this in the future. So some sort of statement yes. from the league is what you're saying. Just, Whether it's him or Al Riveron or anybody, just come out and say, yes, we acknowledge what everyone else already knows. This was a terribly bone, bone call, and we're incredibly unhappy, as you are, that it decided such an important game. And, and right, if they had done that statement 
maybe a Monday. week ago, Monday, whenever, we're not talking about this now. No. Do you believe that, or do you think we'd still be talking about I it? I think if he comes out and says, hey, the, the Super Bowl's coming up. This is what happened. Everybody saw it. The offseason, we're going to take a look at this. We have our competition committee. We have the owners. We'll talk about it at the owners' meetings and try to make it look like it's important. I understand what happens. Ray, Ram, or, uh, Saints fans, we empathize with you. We understand we're going to try to get this fixed. We don't have an answer right now. But just the acknowledgement there, I think that's all they're looking for. You're just trying to move on. Man, that's the whole thing. It, look, no one's expecting Roger Goodell to come up with this grand statement or, uh, or change the outcome of the game. It's just the fact that just acknowledge it so we can move on to what the the big, you know, the bigger event, which is the Super Bowl. I get it, but do you think that if he acknowledged it on Monday or Tuesday that those billboards are, are, are aren't still there and all the frustration I'm, goes away? No, I don't no, think so. I think no, it's, still, it's yeah. still it'll still be there, yeah. but I just feel like as the face of the league, the ones who talk about protecting the shield and the integrity, it, I think it would it would gone a long way if he would have just said, you know what, we were wrong. We just hit on the one other word of this that sort of bothers me, and I don't mean to belabor the point, but this does not go to the integrity of the game. I keep hearing that. We heard it from Gail Benson. We hear it from Ben Watson. And again, I'm willing to acknowledge almost any frustration they want, but this does not go to the integrity of the game. I don't think anyone is suggesting anything untoward happened here. It was a bad call. Bad calls happen. They sometimes decide big games. A bad call decided the 1985 World Series. This is not the first time that it has happened. I don't know. I... I some, to some degree, I think people are actually going a little bit too far, but you're certainly entitled to disagree. Every Saints fan's like, Bleh.